Welcome back, dear viewers, to English Horror Stories. I'm Sarah Alex, and today, we have a chilling treat for you. Before we dive into the abyss, hit subscribe and the notification bell, so you never miss our terrifying tales. Support the channel below. Now, brace yourselves for a nightmarish journey into English Horror Stories. Title, The Phantom Friends Once upon a time in a quiet, suburban neighborhood, there lived a young boy named Tommy. Tommy was a curious and imaginative child, and like many kids his age, he had an imaginary friend named Max Max was a tall, shadowy figure with a mischievous grin, always ready to embark on exciting adventures with Tommy. As the years went by, Tommy grew older, and his imaginary friend Max slowly faded away. School, homework, and new friends took up most of Tommy's time and Max was left behind in the realm of childhood fantasies. But Max didn't forget. He didn't forget the laughter, the adventures, and the friendship he once shared with Tommy. Max's feelings of abandonment festered, turning into bitterness, and over time, he transformed into something darker, something vengeful. One chilly autumn evening, as Tommy was in his room, studying for a big test, he heard a faint whisper in the wind. Tommy, it whispered, barely audible, like a distant memory. Tommy shrugged it off as his imagination playing tricks on him and continued to study. Night after night, the whispers grew louder and more persistent. Tommy, why did you forget me, they pleaded, as if the very air itself were trying to communicate. Tommy began to feel uneasy, but he couldn't explain the strange occurrences. One night, as Tommy lay in bed, he saw a shadow move across his room. His heart raced as he watched in terror as the shadowy figure grew clearer, revealing a sinister smile. It was Max, but not the Max he remembered. This Max was twisted and malevolent, his eyes glowing with a malevolent fire. Tommy, Max hissed, you left me behind, and now I'm back for revenge. Tommy's heart pounded in his chest as he tried to scream, but no sound came out. Max's ghostly form floated closer, and Tommy could feel the icy coldness radiating from him. Max's voice grew louder and more menacing with each passing moment. You'll pay for abandoning me, Tommy. You'll know the pain of loneliness, just like I did. Terrified, Tommy finally found his voice. I'm sorry, Max. I didn't mean to leave you behind. Please, forgive me. But Max was beyond forgiveness. He lunged at Tommy, his ghostly fingers wrapping around the boy's throat. Tommy gasped for breath, his vision blurring as Max's vengeful spirit squeezed tighter. Just as Tommy's world was fading to black, a sudden burst of courage and regret flooded his heart. He whispered, I'll never forget you, Max. I promise. Max's grip loosened, and his twisted form began to fade. He released Tommy and slowly dissolved into the darkness, disappearing like a wisp of smoke. Tommy was left trembling, but he knew that Max was gone. He had made a promise never to forget his childhood friend, and he would keep that promise. From that day forward, Tommy cherished the memories of his imaginary friend, Max, and never let go of the magic of his childhood. But even now, years later, on a cold and windy night, if you listen closely, you might hear a faint whisper in the wind, a whisper that carries the echo of a vengeful ghost longing for the warmth of a friendship that once was. That was spine tingling. If you survived this horror journey, thumbs up and share your thoughts below. For more hair-raising stories, subscribe and hit the bell. More bone-chilling content coming soon.